Hey everybody, welcome to today's very late close-up. Uh, it is May 28th, it is 11.30 a.m. Nearly didn't make it in time to still call it morning, but we did. Lots and lots of news today that I surely am not going to remember all of because I still am not making a list for this. I know, that would be like real work. <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm running so late, though, is pretty amusing, uh, and it also really good news. So I'll start out with the really good news, which is uh, this morning I came in and I got breakfast for our little bebop here, and then I weighed her, and her weight this morning is way up, like a quarter pound. It's fantastic. I, I just, I felt so good about it. Um, and uh, so, you know, I picked her up and snuggled her, and she was putting up with that really well and uh, really happy, celebratory even. Um, and then after I'd done that for a few minutes, I suddenly remembered I'd left the water running in the kitchen and ran downstairs to find that it had, in fact, flooded the kitchen sink. Um, so, so that's the level of happy we're talking about for the fact that she's putting on weight and eating properly, and she had a good poop this morning, and she's just all good news about Bebop. Uh, such good news, I can flood the kitchen. So that's how you know it was really good news. So after I cleaned up the kitchen, I fell into a, uh, a well of emails as well. Uh, lots and lots of emails that I had to get caught up on, which I did. I contacted all of the approved adopters, um, except I, I didn't quite get through to the adopter for... Um, uh, scuttlebutt yet because they're on the discord and I just I sent them a message there I think it was scuttlebutt um, I, I I can't remember which is which at the moment but we'll get there anyway um I see Sandy Kite on the uh, YouTube chat right there hi Sandy Sandy Kite is um I, I said I wouldn't use her last name but it's right there in the username uh, that is Brooks approved adopter on the chat and that brings us to some more news this morning, which is sort of a mixed uh, bag at the moment. Uh, we've just found out that uh, Sandy is going to have a little bit of, um, I would call it, pandemic-related trouble uh, getting to pick up Brooke tomorrow. Uh, all there really is to say about that is we are trying to work it out in a way that will uh, be good for everybody. Um, that is, uh, that's really all there is to say about it. Now, the, really, the, the practical upshot of that is that Brooke may go home tomorrow or it may not be tomorrow. Uh, it's really just a question of, of what we can get arranged. And Michelle at the Danbury Animal Welfare Society is helping out with that. So we will find out. Um, at the very worst case, uh, Brooke's just going to have to wait a few extra days again. Um, and as you know, she's already set the record for being here longer than any other mom cat. So couple more days uh, aren't going to hurt her too much. Of course, Bebop has to head into the litter box. I wanted to talk more about her, but I can't really show you while she's in the litter box, can I? I could show you I'm still wearing the same shirt from yesterday because that's how busy I've been. Here, why not? Let's go over it one more time. That's something to fill the space while she's in the litter box. It is my uh, Give the Pregnant Mom Cat Ideas shirt. It is a pregnant mom cat who is shooting kittens out, uh, which is probably exactly what it's going to look like once uh, Brooke, uh, not Brooke, Bebop, decides to go into labor. Isn't that right? Um, I don't know where you get the shirt, but if you want to search for it, it is from The Oatmeal, maybe on their website. Uh, I'm not sure. I've had it for quite a while. In fact, I've worn it for um, I've, I've worn it during the the pregnancy of pretty much every mom cat for for years now. So it's an older shirt for me, but I really only pull it out when we've got a mom cat that we're waiting on. It's been good luck in the past. We'll see. I, I think my mom will understand if I'm wearing the same shirt two or three days in a row. I, I won't actually admit right now to how many days I've been wearing this shirt. <laughs> I will admit to needing a shower, though. That's on my list of things to do. Um, also, I should mention that the kitchen is probably fine. Um, the uh, It's 
sort of an ironic situation. Um, the sad news about the kitchen is that I knew that the seal on the sink was bad. I knew that flooding from the sink would be a possibility. And it's on my list of things to fix, but it didn't seem important. Um, so that's sad that I didn't get to it before I managed to actually uh, flood the sink. The good news is that when we were dealing with the mouse situation, I did clean out under the sink and I put down this special mat that is supposed to be like super water absorbent and uh, waterproof at the same time. And it, it really worked. It picked up a ton of the water that came out of the sink, so it minimized the problem. Uh, but it didn't pick up all the water and uh, yeah, it still was a problem, so we'll see how it goes. It's funny you ask about the kitchen ceiling. Uh, Katrina, um, it's, this kitchen ceiling uh, was then on my mind as well. It is still not fixed, and I just sent an email, one of the many emails that I caught up on this morning, to the contractor uh, trying to find out if we can get that scheduled now or if we still have to wait. Um, you know, I can understand needing to wait, uh, but that should be nice. Anyway, oh yeah, so, uh, the food. So uh, we have today the food selection for her is the RC Mom and Baby Cat Dry, the Dr. Elsie's Dry Clean Protein, and uh, some Fancy Feast just in case, but she's still never touching the Fancy Feast. She does eat both of these, but this morning when I came in, uh, um, she's been eating a ton of the RC Mom and Baby Cat. In fact, she'd eaten uh, all the way to where you could see the bottom of the bowl, and this is what she ate the most of in the last 24 hours, and as I said, her weight is up uh, just a fantastic amount today, exactly the way that we want to see it. So I'm just, I'm feeling so good about her. And uh, she also, you just saw her play with her toy a minute ago. I was too busy talking to point it out, but that's behavior that we haven't seen in a while. And uh, just, uh, I'm just so, so happy this morning. It literally brought tears to my eyes while I was busy flooding the kitchen, so there was water everywhere. Um, yeah, I, I saw Kale uh, just mentioned that I should probably tell people why there is a shiny silver cookie sheet in here, and also a uh, pastry slab of uh, engineered marble. Um, the reason those are in here is someone on the Discord chat yesterday thought that she might want a nice, cool surface to lay on since she's so fond of sitting here on the wood floor. So I put this out and that out because they'll both be very cool. But so far, um, she's not interested. She'd rather just lay on the wood floor. That's okay. Just giving her some options. It seemed like a good idea, though. Look at her. She's sniffing her catnip apple. She's been scratching on the scratching post. Look at how happy she is right now. This is, this is how you feel when you actually eat an appropriate amount. I'm so glad that she's feeling better today. Honestly, oh, so, so happy. So, um, as you know, the, the news otherwise for her remains the same. Look at her, she's rolling over and tap tapping on the little ball and just, oh, this is so good. Really, really happy. I hope you guys are all as happy as I am right now because uh, this is really making my day. Um, so I've been checking her out um, a few, a couple few times a day just to see how she's doing. Um, she's, her belly's still very taut and you can feel the kittens in there. Like that's unusual for me. Most mom cats have enough uh, weight on them that it's hard to feel where the kittens are. But for her, you, you know, you just, I barely have to touch her. I can feel there's a little kitten right there. Um, and if you are paying attention to her during the day, you will occasionally see kittens kicking. If I sit here with my hand on her for long enough, I definitely feel little kittens kicking now and again. So that's also really good news. Um, now, uh, what I haven't seen, of course, is I, I still don't see that she's producing any milk. And uh, obviously no contractions or anything like that. So it could be a while. Uh, who knows? Or, you know, it could be any time. I wouldn't be surprised if she delivered today. I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't deliver for a week. Um, so could could be anything, but uh, everybody can keep an eye on that with me if you like. She's always on the Kitten Academy live stream. 
Um, I also, uh, I know um, I mentioned this once already, but you know, some cats, at least I'm told, some cats have six nipples and some have eight. Uh, I've checked her out. She has eight, so that is enough for seven kittens in theory. But I think we, we know they don't all uh, sort of work the same. So I probably am going to have to help her out quite a bit when it comes to feeding the kittens. We'll see. I, it's already something I'm planning on, though. And I know our friend Xenathon and Raylene, uh, they love to send us KMR for the kittens. But um, just let me go ahead and say we have they have sent us plenty of KMR already. We've got a good stockpile so uh, we definitely don't need any more right now for these kittens. Um, I'll let you know if we start to run low, but I feel like we could easily get through the seven kittens before we run out. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, I am just, I'm so thrilled that she is eating, that she's obviously feeling a little better today, and uh, that her weight is up and that she had a good poop. Uh, just everything is, is looking very, very rosy for uh Bebop right now. <laughs> Can you just push that under there? Here, let me take that out here so you don't have to try to get it. Is there, are there other toys under there that you want? Or are you just lay in there because it's a place to be? There you go. Such a happy cat. Yes. Such a happy Mr. A. All right. Um, well, let's go see the other cats real quick. Uh, there is one other thing, of course, for me today um, that I should have already gotten done. I have to run to the vet to pick up some extra Serenia. I don't think she needs Serenia today. Obviously, if she's eating well, she doesn't. But we like to have some on hand, and she ran us out. And uh, we will also need some for Brooke whenever Brooke's adoption does happen, which, cross my fingers, is still going to be tomorrow. Um, Brooke will need some Serenia to make her trip, so we need to make sure we've got it on hand. So after I'm done with this close-up, I'm headed to the vet to pick that up. Uh, Serenia is an anti-nausea medicine, and uh, Brookie here does not travel well, so having that in her when she goes is going to be very important. I know. I know. Well, that's why you can't go out right now, Brooke. But you were out this morning once already. You should be okay with that. I know she wants out. She wants to go explore the house. Uh, she's super ready to be in her new place with Sandy and uh, to, to get all that extra love and attention. Of course, I give her love and attention every day, and I'm really going to miss her because she is a big sweetheart. But... Uh, but I feel like she's going to just really, really thrive uh, once she's saddled into a place that she can stay and uh, have all that extra attention from Sandy, of course. So we'll see about that. Hi, I know. But she's being just as sweet. Look at this. Hi. Yes. I... <laughs> she's purring, too. You guys probably can't hear it. But uh, Brooke is just a, a big strong sweetheart this is uh, this is what i imagine it would be like if you could be friends with like a wild cat actually probably not she's i think a wild cat would be a lot more dangerous than she is she's all sound and fury but uh, she's never actually tried to hurt a person but i'll tell you when i first met her um she would sort of like get all growly and hissy and angry in a way that that uh, was a warning that you know She'd make you think that she was gonna, but then she'd still be a little sweetheart. She's just got that gruff exterior, you know how it is? Real gruff, um, but, uh, but a heart of gold. And yeah. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I don't know about uh, the lighting. I don't know how the lighting is... Uh, affecting it, but she's actually even darker than she looks on the screen to me. Um, the the lighting is this this light color part on her is is darker than it looks, and her black is just very dark. She's always had very bold colors that are fantastic. She wants so much attention today, but we got to go see Gabby and her kids real quick. Uh, let's do that. Uh, yes, I'll keep everybody informed about uh, what the, the update is. And if she does end up going tomorrow, 
I'll make sure that we get a little close up and say goodbye to her then. But uh, for now, I'm going to put it off. So, um, no, I know you want to go out, but I'm leaving. I'm leaving, and I don't want to have to wrangle any cats before I go. You'll get to go out later today again, okay? You were already out once this morning. No, 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 no. <laughs> nice try, though. Nice try. There's Acro. Hi, Acro. This is very blinky. Must have just woken up. And here's Gabby and her kids. Oh, I love the kids sitting on this little tiny bean bag here. Isn't that the best? That's, uh, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Everybody wants to play. They all want to come out. You kind of kids, they were out in the spa all night. They had another spa night where they spent the night in the master bedroom with me. It was fantastic. They're such sweethearts. All of them are sweethearts, actually. Um, because uh, I know that I've mentioned the fact that Blarney here is the one, and I'm sure you've seen, Blarney's the one that's always the first one to like hang out with me and come up on my lap. Hi, hi Scuttlebutt. Look at that. Shaka Shaka Butt. Um, Blarney's been always the first one to come up on my lap and to want to hang out and have people time. And last night was no exception. Blarney um, preferred to sleep all like cuddled up in my hand. I, I put my hand out like this and Blarney just got right in my hand and that's where she wanted to sleep. It was super sweet. Um, then, uh, so that, that's what we're used to there. And I know I've said quite a bit that banter here is sort of the opposite end of the spectrum. She's the most independent. I've got to get this door open and come in, but uh, they're not making it easy. Let's go around. Anyway, I was saying that, that banter is, has tended to be the opposite end of that spectrum where she's the most independent. But then sometime last night, in the middle of the night, they switched on me. And when I woke up, it was banter that was all curled up in my hand and Blarney nowhere to be found. How about that? A little unexpected and wonderful, really wonderful. It's, uh, it's actually really sweet to see how banter has been coming around a lot more lately and just how all three of them are very sweet. And I do say, you know, I, I, I want to make it clear that when I'm making these observations about their personalities, they, they are all three sweet on people and hanging out and treats and play and all the things. Uh, I'm, I'm just sort of describing um, different, you know, uh, to different degrees maybe a little bit or different sort of uh, proclivities, but not... Um, you know, none of them are antisocial. Banter's not antisocial. She's just the one most likely to be off on her own doing something like she's still looking out the door. Well, these two are in my lap. Um, but uh, she will also come over here and right here she comes, just like that. So I knew she would. So here we have uh, Banter is the brown one. And Scuttlebutt is the one with the white legs, and that makes this one Blarney. Yes, oh, and yes, and that makes this one Gabby, the one with the gab. So, there you have it. They are, all three of them are really starting to become just super affectionate little kitties, and I don't have to tell you that Gabby's been that way all along. Um, but it's it's great to see them all really starting to uh, come into their own and how much they love people. I saw someone ask where I get my socks. Uh, honestly, almost all the socks that I have these days are ones that the fans have sent to me, which uh, I don't encourage people to do. Um, I, I should mention that uh, you know, DJ and I try to encourage folks to send stuff for the kittens rather than for us. Uh, yes, but uh, when you do send stuff for us, we, we still appreciate it. And that's uh, honestly where almost all of my socks are from now, including this pair that came in a very recent mailbag. I called it a pair, but it's, it's really, um, it's apparent that they're not a pair. Uh, that, was, that was almost a pun. That's what you get here. Almost humor. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Now, I know Gabby has been talking a lot uh, this morning. She doesn't want to be in this room. She wants to be out running around the house. 
and she gets to spend almost all the day out running around the house, so don't feel bad for her. The only reason that she has to stay in here this morning is that I am leaving the house any minute, and while I'm gone, she has to stay in here. Those are the rules. So, you'll get to go out again later tonight. Uh, Rosie Lee, Custard is doing great. DJ just sent me a picture of him this morning looking very relaxed. Uh, and she says that he is really enjoying his life now. So, that's good. Oh, Ben, very well done. Successful. Wow. All right, you're being a little rough now, Gabby. That's too much. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, look, you got your claws in my shirt. You can't do that. I know you want to play. I can see that very clearly. You should pick on somebody your own size, though. Like all three of your kittens at once. That just about adds up. Uh, no, just to be clear about Custard, um, he is just staying with DJ Well, She's at her apartment, and at least right now, I think her plan is to be back, um, I, I don't remember the exact date, sometime around June 20th, uh, give or take a bit, um, which is technically when the year, her first year of residency will be over. And after that, she immediately starts the second year of residency, um, but she's planning on, on uh, coming home that week, I think. And then Custard will come home with her. <clears throat> He's only staying out there when she's staying out there. Um, that reminds me, speaking of dates, I've been telling everybody all along that Gabby's spay... Gabby? That Gabby's now playing with her banana. Um, Gabby's spay is scheduled for the first, is what I have been saying. But I looked at my calendar. I had the date wrong. It's the second. Her spay is scheduled for Tuesday the second. Um, and that doesn't change anything for her adoption schedule, which uh, right now she is scheduled to be picked up by her adopter on June 14th, which is a Sunday. Uh, we just set that up this morning. That's one of the emails that I was sending back and forth. So Gabby's uh, adoption already scheduled for June 14th. That will be uh, long enough after her spay that we'll have the sutures out and she'll be ready to go home. And then uh, I was still correct about the 8th being the day that they're going back in for their next set of vaccines. The kids are. And on that day, the 8th, uh, while I'm at the vet getting those vaccines done, we will schedule their final vaccines and their spay. So I'll be able to tell you after that uh, when they're going home. And surely by then we will have a new set of kittens as well from Bebop. Can't be too much longer now. So, uh, just to be clear, uh, in theory, uh, Brooke is still getting adopted tomorrow, but there's a big question mark on it. Uh, we will find out whether it's tomorrow or just a few days later, or, uh, you know, exactly when. We'll let you know. Gabby's spay is the second, not the first, like I was saying. That was just my mistake. That's all. Hadn't looked at my calendar. Uh, so, Gabby's spay is on the second, and these kids are getting their next vaccines on the 8th. And that's also when we will schedule their final vaccines in their spay, probably roughly a month later, three weeks later um, for some of it, and then we'll see how it works out. So uh, I think that's everything for the schedule. This is, uh, this is banter. Banter and Blarney. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. All right, all right. I can't have you playing with hands that way. Why don't you try your banana again? Oh, okay. Got it. I got the banana. Try this. Try this. This is more appropriate. What? 
This is the appropriate toy. Like, no, I'm gonna jump over the banana and grab your hand. I would rather have a hand. I should get you a big kicker in here. It seems like you want a big kicker. I know we've got a whole bunch of them somewhere. There's probably one I can steal from your endowments at least. I hear ya. Maybe you can just bite the Grinch. Should I just grab the Grinch? He's right up there. You don't want any of that. You just want to go out and run around. I get it. Well, uh, I think that's everything. Uh, and I should wrap it up because, like I said, I got to run to the vet and pick up that Serenia. I need to be prepared whether uh, Brooke's adoption goes off tomorrow or not. Um, oh, Nico, yes. Uh, yeah, DJ uh, goes by DJ, and everybody calls me Mr. A. I'm sure you've seen it. It's just, uh, you know, that whole Mr. A thing started way back when we were working with uh, On Angel's Wings in uh, in Illinois. On Angel's Wings is in Crystal Lake, Illinois. And uh, they were one of the first shelters that we worked with. And they're wonderful people. And I was there at the shelter at On Angel's Wings. And there were a whole bunch of kids there. And one of the, the volunteers that works there was introducing me to the kids. They wanted to tell the kids all about Kitten Academy and the streaming that we were doing, that they could watch it on YouTube. And she just referred to me, to the kids, as Mr. Kitten Academy. Uh, you know, and it, somehow that just stuck. Mr. Kitten Academy or Mr. Academy or Mr. A. Uh, so that's that's how that all started. It was just one of the volunteers there thought that that would be uh, a better way to introduce me to the kids. And I'm guessing, I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm quite certain that the reason that she went with Mr. Academy is because she couldn't remember my real last name, which is fine too. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Uh, so yeah, that's how Mr. A started. And it's just stuck. All right. Well, anyway, I was about to wrap this up. Let me say this. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me this morning, nearly this afternoon. And uh, thanks so much for uh, the mods, for moderating. Also, I, you know, I don't say it often enough, but really, really thank you guys so much, not just for participating here in the chat, but just for, for watching Kitten Academy stuff and uh, spreading the word about us. It's It's really... Thanks to you guys that we get these kittens adopted, and uh, that's what we are still all about, is getting the kittens adopted. So uh, I owe you guys so much thanks for that. Thank you all very, very much. And if you want to keep watching these kittens, you know you can do that on the Kitten Academy live stream right here on YouTube. And you can also watch Bebop and uh, maybe be the first to notice when she actually does go into labor. Who knows? Who knows when that's going to be? I'm, I'm guessing sometime this year, hopefully. We'll see. That's it, everybody. We'll do another close-up tomorrow. And by then, uh, maybe I'll have a little more definitive word on the outcome for Brookie. Gabby, that's so much noise, Gabby.